Hello, welcome to my channel where I make art. My name is Marcus, and today I will be drawing famous characters using a mouse. Without further ado, let's begin. For the first drawing, I decided to draw the most popular cartoon character according to Google, which was Bugs Bunny. My inspiration for making this video came from watching YouTube art videos based on prompts, particularly those from Dafi. A YouTube show hosted by four artists where they draw anything based on prompts their viewers submit. You probably know them by now, but their videos are similar to podcasts because you can listen to them as you go about your day, except you can, well, watch what they're doing as they talk. The main reason I decided to record this video is that I cannot use my drawing tablet currently because I Drop my digital pen. <sighs> anyway, I went about my usual art process of drawing the line art, adding the colors, rendering, the usual. I looked up images of Bugs Bunny to get the hang of drawing him. I sketched a couple of reference images, then made a few sketches of my own afterward. The sketch I chose was Bugs Bunny in the middle of a circle. I thought my initial sketch made him look like he had giant teeth and a tooth gap. I liked it, but I decided to change that in the end to stay a bit more faithful to the source material. I also drew his hand holding a carrot because that's what he's known for and I also really liked the way his hands are drawn. It took me a while to get used to drawing with a mouse, but once I got the hang of it, it was not as difficult as I thought it would be. The line art kind of suffered, but I could still taper some of the lines. The line weight isn't as good as line art drawn with a tablet, as expected, but I was pleasantly surprised nonetheless. I found the coloring and rendering process to both be fairly straightforward because they don't rely on pen pressure as much as line art. When I add shadows and highlights, I use separate layers with blending options. I haven't done this in a while, so I kind of played around with it and... Oh. When I finished recording, I thought it looked flat, so I changed the shading layer a bit off screen to make it darker. I think it added some much needed volume to the drawing. I also realized that I forgot to add whiskers on Bugs Bunny, so... I added them to the final drawing, which I will show at the end. For the next drawing, I chose to draw Mickey Mouse because he came up as the second result upon looking up the most popular cartoon characters. I drew Mickey Mouse while using two different references, and then I chose to draw Mickey in the art style of Mickey's Wonderful World, or his art style in Disney TV's logo, which is very cartoonish and flat. The two circles I drew at the beginning served as a guide because I noticed that his back and his tail almost formed an arc in my sketch. When I finished the drawing and showed it to someone, the first thing they noticed was, um... What's going on here with all this ass? Double cheeked up on a Thursday afternoon, hella ass, the sun is still out.
The post that I went for was carefree and casual. It is a reference to Mickey's appearance in Steamboat Willie, which is why I also added a helm. I'm sure we've seen Mickey in that clip before. I didn't use separate layers for shading. Instead, I just added a bit of black to imply that one leg is behind the other, and that was it. Anyway, I made a simple background as a pattern. Not sure how I feel about it, but it is what it is. For the last character, I chose to draw the third result of the exact same Google search I used for the two previous drawings. Who would have thought? Not me. It was Homer Simpson. The last character I drew was Homer Simpson. I made this kind of late at night. I drew this right after I drew Mickey Mouse because I had a few hours left in the day when I finished drawing Mickey. So I made this in kind of a delirious state, but I digress. By the way, it took me 4 hours to make the first drawing and 3 hours each for the second and the third if anyone's wondering. The layout of this drawing is very similar to the first one, with the character coming out of a circle. I think the idea worked well with the mostly uniform line art because it was simple. Although I did struggle with the proportions at the beginning. I used Clip Studio Paint's shape tool a lot in this drawing because curves can be really difficult to draw using a mouse, in my opinion. I used cell shading to stay true to the Simpsons art style. The background I chose was simple as well. It was a pink background with large sprinkles to make Homer look like he's in a giant donut because I think that's his brand or something, I don't know. And there you go. Here are all the final versions of the drawings. I haven't made digital art in a while so I definitely enjoyed making this. It also kind of brings me back to middle school when I used to animate using a mouse. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching the video as much as I did making it. Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching and have a good day. See ya!